hello guys so in this video i will go over hcf and lcm um hcf is the highest common factor two or more numbers have and lcm is the lowest common multiple two or more numbers have so first of all we need to know what exactly a factor and a multiple is so a factor is an any number that divides into another number without leaving a remainder so divides into another number without a remainder while a multiple is a number that can be multi that is the result of multiplying a specific number with another integer so if you multiply um result of multiplying with a integer with an integer um so for example let's look at two numbers so 6 into 5 is 30 right so 6 and 5 are the factors of 30 while 30 is the multiple of 6 and 5 because when you multiply 6 with 5 you get 30 so it's a result of multiplying with an integer right when you multiply 5 by 6 it's 30 so it's again a result of multiplying with an integer but when you divide 30 by 6 you get uh, you get 5 and it doesn't leave a remainder and when you divide 30 by 5 you get 6 without leaving a remainder so that means 6 and 5 are factors while 30 is a multiple so taking this idea forward we are going to see what exactly highest common factor and lowest common multiple is okay so first let's see what exactly a highest common factor is so let's say we have two numbers um so we are doing eight here yeah, first we have two numbers let's say we have 30 and 45 right okay so what we are going to do is we can do we can find the highest common factor by using two method the first is the listing method um let's look at the listing method first so what happens in the listing method is that you um that you list down all the factors so let's just list down all the factors of 30 so every number has a factor of one like one is every number's factor so 1 times 30 is 30 right then we have 2 since it's an even number then 2 must be a factor um 2 times 15 is 30 then we have 3 3 times 10 is 30 it's uh, 4 is not a factor let's look at 5 so 5 times 6 is 30 so as soon as your number starts repeating you end it there so we'll not write 6 right so these are all the factors of 30. So let's list down the factors of 30 over here. So 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30 are the factors of 30, right? Now let's look at um, 45. So let's list down the factors of 45. Again, every number has the factor 1. So 1 times 45 is 45. Then since it's not an even number, then 2 cannot be a factor. Then we have 3. 3 times 15 is 45. And then it cannot, uh, 4 is not a factor. Then we have 5. 5, 9 times is 45. Then not 6, not 7, not 8. And then again 9. Since 9 is getting repeated, then we won't write 9. And these are all the factors of 45. So let's list down all the factors of 45 over here. So we have 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, and 45, right? So let's look at all the common factors. So our common factors are 1, 3, 5, and 15, right? So by the name, we can tell that we are trying to find the highest common factor, right? So the highest common factor is 15. So 15 will be our answer. But the thing with this method is that it can be very exhausting when you are solving a for bigger numbers like for example if i say that i want to find the highest common factor of um of 84 and 156 right so what we'll do is that 
we'll form this sort of table and we will write 84 and 56 next to each other then you can see that these both are even numbers so they both must be divided by two so what you have to do is you have to list down prime factors if you don't know what exactly a prime number is you can go back and check my video on prime and composite numbers so we will list down its prime factors we will divide both of them with prime factors so since they both can be divided by two and two is the lowest prime factor then we'll list that down so two so two 2, 4 times is 8 and then 2. So 42 times um, 2 is 84 and then we have 156 divided by 2 is 2. 7 times is 14 and then we have 1 so 8. And then these both again are even numbers so they can be divided by 2. So 2, 2 times is 4 and then 1. 21 times is 42 and then we have 2, 3 times is 6. So we have 1 and then 2 times nine is 18 yeah so now these both cannot be divided by two but they both can be divided by three so we are going to divide them by three so three three times seven is 21 and then three times 13 yeah is 39 now since these both are prime factors they cannot be divided by um the same prime number then we won't divide it further we'll just leave it here so these are the list of our common prime factors right so what we'll do now is that we will multiply these so 2 into 2 into 3 so 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 3 is 12 so our highest common factor will be 12 and that's how we have made our life easier let's look at another example so let's say we have three numbers so we have 30 60 and 75 let's just suppose right so we'll all write them next to each other now these both are prime, uh, even numbers but this is not so they cannot be divided by two let's try dividing it by three so three three ten times is 30 and then three twenty times is 60 and then three two is a six and then we have one left so 25 yeah okay so we divided all this by three and then we can divide this by five right because every number has either a zero or five as the last digit so five times two is ten and then five times four is twenty and then five times five is twenty five and now these cannot be divided by a single prime number so we will stop here so our highest common factor can be achieved by multiplying these both numbers so 3 into 5 is 15 so the highest common factor of these three numbers is 15 which is our answer right um so let's look at lcm now so let's say we have to find the lcm of 84 and 156 so in lcm what you do is here you you had to list down the factors but in lcm you have to list down the multiples so let's look at our easier number first 30 and 45 right so 30 and 45 let's list down the multiples of 30 and 45 what i mean by multiples is that 30 times 1 is 30 30 times 2 is 60 30 times 3 is 90 30 times 4 is 120 30 times 5 is 150 so you list down basically the multiples right and then 45 so 40 times 45 1 times 45 is 45 2 times 45 is 90 3 times 45 is 135 right so what you basically do is you as indicated by the name you have to find the lowest common multiple so lowest common multiple will be 90 right so our answer will be 90 but again this is a harder method so what we can simply do is we'll again make a table we'll write both these numbers simultaneously and what we'll do is we will again list uh, divide them by common multiple uh, common factors so what we do is 3 times 10 and 15 right now these both can be divided by 5 so 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 3 times is 15 now we will divide both of these separately in hcf we used to stop here but in lcm we are going to continue dividing them even when they cannot be divided by the same uh, common factor right so what we'll do is you can either first take 2 or 3 so in my case i'm going to first take 2 so 2 times 1 is 2 and you just copy down 3 and then you write 3 times 1 is 
three. So you are going to continue doing it until you have one um, in the end, right? And then you do the same thing. You multiply all these numbers. So you have three into five into two into three. So 2 times 5 is 10 and 3 times 3 is 9. So 9 into 10 is 90. So our lowest common multiple is 90, right? Let's look at another example. So as we are doing 84 and 156 first, let's look at that example. So we have 84 and 156, right? Let's find the LCM for this. So you do the same thing. First, you divide them by 2. So you have 2. So 42 and then 7 and then 8, right? Then you had, again, 2, 21, 3, 9. Then you divide them by 3. So 3 is 7 times and 3 is 13 times. Now, since they both cannot be divided by the same common uh, factor, so if it was HCF, we would have stopped there. But since it's LCM, we can continue dividing by um, separately dividing them by each uh, factor. So first we are going to consider 7. So 7 times 1 is 7 and then you copy down 13 and then you divide them by 13. Right? Oops, sorry. This is 13. Let me just raise the 3. Right. So you have 1 on each side. So you stop now and then you multiply all these numbers. So 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 into 13. And that is 1092. Now see, if you would have continued with that listing method, it would have been so difficult to list um, your multiple still 1092. So this is an easier and more relevant method. Um, we can also do this for three numbers. So 30, 60, and 75, right? So 30, 60 and 75 so you do the same thing and same thing again you divide them by 3 so 3 times 10 is 30 3 times 20 is 60 and 3 times 25 is 75 yeah then we divide all them by 5 5 times 2 is 10 5 times 4 is 20 and 5 times 5 is 25 make sure you first divide them with common factors and then by not common factors it's easier that way or else it's more prone to error, uh, error the other way, right? Then you divide them. Now, these cannot be divided by a common factor anymore. So you divide them by um, their own factors. So if you divide the whole thing by 2, so we have 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, and then 5 cannot be divided by 2. So you just copy it down. You again divide the thing by 2. So 2, you copy down the 1, and then 2 times 1 is 2, and then you copy down the 5, and then... You divide it by 5, so you copy down the 1, the 1, and then or 5 times 1 is 5. And then since you have 1 in the end, so you're going to stop here and then you're going to multiply all these numbers. So it's 3 into 5 into 2 into 2 and then again into 5. And this gives us 300. So the all so the lowest common multiple of these three numbers is 300. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you all learned something. Goodbye.